Computer chip maker AMD has announced a new slate of desktop CPUs that have Intel in their sights, and they're coming out next week. It's Friday, April 13th, and despite this being a day noted for its bad luck and slasher movies, gamers and other users of high-powered chips should be feeling lucky instead. The new Ryzen CPUs, so far four have been announced, are packing either six or eight cores with speeds that top out at 4.3 gigahertz in boost mode. The new top-of-the-line Ryzen 7 2700X gets a power boost over last year's model, of course, but it'll only set you back $329. Plus, all the newly announced models come with a Wraith cooling system in the box. Very nice. Quick note for you PC builders out there, though. To get the most out of the new silicon, AMD is also launching a new motherboard, but the new chips will still work with many popular current boards as well. Hit the link for all the techie details. If you're a Gmail user, you've probably heard that a big redesign is about to drop and some new features are coming to light. TechCrunch says a tipster has shown them examples of self-destructing or self-erasing emails, along with some new features designed around email security. Users can send emails in confidential mode and set expiration dates, along with prohibiting things like forwarding, copy-paste actions, download, and print options. However, it looks like they aren't immune to the old screen cap trick. It appears that some of the new features, while present now apparently for some beta users, are not quite ready for public release. The Gmail makeover should roll out to users in the near future, though no exact date has been specified by Google. After the San Bernardino terror attack and the subsequent battle over unlocking one of the attacker's iPhones, Apple made it clear they did not want to build a backdoor into the iPhone's security features. Law enforcement then went out into the tech world and quickly found someone who could crack the phone, an Israeli company called Celebrite. Once the phone was unlocked, it seemed the controversy died down. But now, law enforcement agencies are apparently snapping up a new iPhone cracking solution from an American company, GrayShift, and it's called the Gray Key device. Agencies can use the device 300 times for $15,000, and apparently requires an internet connection. But there's also a $30,000 offline version that gives agencies unlimited usage. Cybersecurity firm Malwarebytes details how the device works and says the small gray key box poses serious security concerns, especially the offline model, which is small enough to be pocketed. Once out in the wild, it would no doubt fetch a pretty penny from nefarious actors. It could also be reverse engineered and copied. Malwarebytes says the gray key device apparently works on all current iPhone models, and while there hasn't been any public statement so far about the device from Apple, we can probably assume they are working to close the door on the gray key machine's abilities. Hit the link for all the details. And that's all for DT Daily Today. Be sure to check out more tech news at digitaltrends.com, on our Facebook page and YouTube channel, and tune in live at 2 p.m. Pacific today for Between the Streams, our entertainment podcast. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.